Hey there you guys, uh, Techspec again, back with another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to do something inter in, um, interesting today, which is make a toolbar. And I, I believe this is going to be very fun. Uh, requires not much experience at all. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and open up your web browser. And as you can see, I already have made my own toolbar, which is pretty simple, straight up. Uh, as you can see, I have my own little logo right here. So if you click on it, it's going to bring you to my YouTube channel. Uh, search, Google search right now. Uh, I'm still just looking up on more search engines. That, uh, I like, yeah, I like Google. Um, YouTube, you click here, it's going to bring you to YouTube. So you can watch your videos and everything. You can even add your own little annotations. Like you see where it says go watch some videos. You can add whatever you want there. Uh, news. Um, news updates that I can release email notifier where you can yeah it'll automatically show your email so you have to keep logging in and uh, of course weather just click here and choose what location you want and it'll it'll show you your weather everything straight you know I made everything simple uh, I didn't make anything like I didn't add game you can add a lot of stuff to your toolbar like games and TV and podcasts and all that but this is all um it's simple. I just made a, a simple toolbar. But uh, the site you're going to want to go to to make this is called conduit.com. Uh, you can go to Google or just search it up in your address bar. Now, once you're there, you got to create an account with conduit in order to make your toolbar. But uh, yeah, go just go ahead and click get started now. All you got to do is sign up for your account and you're done. So let me go ahead and log in. I already have all my stuff there. All right, now when you first start Conduit, you're gonna be at this screen, which is your dashboard. Show you statistics about your toolbar, how many people have actually downloaded your toolbar, promotions, uh, revenue, and everything. But uh, the part we want to go to is the toolbar itself, which is the components. and uh, here you can actually edit everything uh, so you can edit your logo you can add a whole bunch of stuff you see you can add Twitter reader chat radio player your search community search every, um, a lot of stuff uh, very simple to actually m maneuver around here you can just put your mouse over actually the toolbar itself and edit it for example we can edit the, the YouTube icon right here can uh, add your own logo which these are all custom made except this one but uh, yeah you can make your own logo icon if you don't like their icon library you can make your own icon and it'll tell you can make it 20 by 20 pixels I use Photoshop uh, you can add text to the button which will show it says YouTube um, destination youtube.com and the hint when you put your mouse over it's gonna say go watch some videos uh, you can do this for essentially everything on your toolbar um, again there are a lot of stuff to play around with a whole bunch of stuff you can add links menu buttons SRSS reader a whole bunch of, here's what I was thinking about adding games and TVs and everything but I know a lot of people including myself when I downloaded toolbars like this would not want all this junk on it you just wanted the bear like just the what you wanted and I just added this stuff that most people would pretty much want. I'm a, when the radio player wants you to install the toolbar, if you don't have the radio player, it'll ask you if you want to add the radio player. So that's you know as well optional. But uh, yeah, um, the message ticker is a cool thing I was thinking about adding, but uh, I already have the uh, news. What this does, it'll whoever downloads the toolbar can see what is scrolling across the screen. So you can set a new message and they'll see it, you know. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool feature, is there? Other than the toolbar itself, which you can play around with, there are community alerts. But uh, I tend, I wouldn't want to really do this because a lot of people might think, oh, look, a virus. I didn't want this, you know, little pop up. And the thing is, even if you're using another toolbar or uh, another 
or in the browser or something this if you send the message it's gonna pop up near their toolbar and of course if you keep sending too many alerts they're gonna pretty much uninstall your toolbar because they're gonna think either it's a virus or it's annoying them so I wouldn't really use community alerts I'll use the, the news function uh, banners you can uh, mess around with that as yourself place banners on your site to it that encourage new users to download your toolbar uh, a whole bunch of other stuff analytics I believe that's how you say it uh, shows you all, all the like statistical information about what happened with your toolbar people using everything marketplace rewards everything else is just pretty much self explanatory but uh, yeah so anyways again the website is conduit uh, you gotta sign up. Sign up very easily. Make your own uh, toolbar. If you want to install your toolbar, just click install your toolbar. It, it'll automatically install depending on your browser. If you want people to download your toolbar, at here at the top right, where it says when you click on the toolbar tab, it's gonna say at the top right your toolbar's download page. Just right click copy, and then paste it. It'll automatically take you to that where people can download it. And yeah, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you want to update your toolbar, of course, just uh, I will try and make a final, try and make, you know, your, try and make the best toolbar the first time. So you have to do as many updates before, so people don't have to keep downloading and downloading your toolbar. It'll get annoying after a while. So yeah, but uh, yeah, that's how you actually make your own toolbar. If you have any questions, uh leave a comment and i'll put all the links you you all need in the description box to the right so anyways thanks for watching and i hope this helped you